I'm going to start off today's video with a very obvious statement. Brakes are quite important in a car. What's the point of a car if you can't come to a stop? We are here today at the Michelin Proving Grounds with Brembo, experiencing what they're saying is going to be one of the biggest breakthroughs in braking technology since the invention of the ABS system decades ago. It's called Sensify, which combines the word sense and simplify. And we can talk about a lot of the cool features, but the best part is we are gonna get in the vehicle today on the track on all sorts of surfaces, wet and dry, and experience a stock vehicle braking system and then one equipped with Sensify. A couple of the really cool points that I wanna highlight with Sensify. So you have independent control now of each single braking point. So it's locally controlled. That is going to help in terms of customizability, giving the driver more confidence depending on the road scenario, the different surfaces, whether it's wet, cold, rainy, snowy, whatever it is. There's also some other benefits. Packaging wise, this really simplifies the braking system now. You've got control at each wheel here. You'll see there's two control units there. This is a model. Obviously, it's not a real vehicle, but also works for wet and dry braking applications. And also the applications are tremendous. Not just electric vehicles, internal combustion vehicles, race car applications, supercars, hypercars, commercial vehicles. All of this is going to be really, really cool for the future of braking systems. One other big benefit to mention is with sense you have a lot less complexity and that has some great benefits. One is in terms of benefits to the environment actually. So you have less drag between the brake pad, the friction material and the rotor, which helps the life of your braking system, which as somebody who has spent a lot of money on replacing rotors and pads, that's a benefit, less drag there. Not only does that improve your vehicle's efficiency because it has to overcome less drag, but also it's better for the environment in terms of less particles coming off the brake pads themselves, increase the life of that. Also, the lack of complexity for the overall system can help with packaging, lower maintenance costs and things like that just because it's so much more simple. Today, we've got some Teslas. We're gonna be out there driving them. So with that, let's hop in the car now. We'll have some GoPro set up as we go through the course here at the Michelin Proving Grounds to experience what Sensify is gonna be like. All right, so we're in a stock Model 3 Performance in track mode, completely stock, and we're gonna see what this is like. So get up to speed, 50 right. miles an hour on the dry. So that's pretty damn good. Like, yeah. <laughs> how long has Sensify been in development? Ten years. Ten years. Wow. Yeah. So we are now in the Sensify equipped Model 3 performance with Zach from Brembo and we get to experience. We did the baseline in the stock, completely stock Model 3 and multiple braking events and see what it's like. Now we'll see what Sensify is like. I'm excited. So this has the same hardware in terms of the actual rotors, pads, and calipers. Yep. And every single event we are experiencing today is full ABS braking, including like turning maneuvers, full ABS in the dry. So this is the 50 mile an hour one. That was, so that was ABS braking. You were in full ABS, yep. Huh. Yeah. Certainly doesn't feel like it. <laughs> so the first impression is extremely smooth and just effectively uneventful. And I'm, it's weird. Cause again, I've been driving yeah. for years and you're yeah. used to, I've obviously done full ABS braking before. Yes. Yeah. That's bizarre. Cause you can, I heard the tires. Yep fighting for grip as they're hitting the brakes hard. But yeah, you don't have the, the pulsating of the pedal. You don't hear the noise. Yeah. Interesting. 50 in the wet. Okay. All you gotta do. My brain is struggling to process what's going on because it's so <laughs> different. Like. Again, easy. <laughs> So does Sensify have any improvements for non-full, like, hard braking? So you've been driving on our normal setting. Um, so I've just bopped you down to the comfort mode now. Comfort mode. So if you just kind of give the brake a little... Oh, it's way more gradual. Yeah. Whoa, very gradual and smooth. Yeah, that's comfort. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now I'm jumping you up to sport. So this would be something more like your R8. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep, <laughs> definitely a lot more bite. So the next one is 70 miles an hour. Okay, and, brake and turn. turn. That's remarkable because I can also like 
when it was starting to drift a little wide, I gave it a little more steering input and it just followed it in. On here, we're turning in. Huh. I did something where I wasn't supposed to because usually you want to break in a straight line and I forcefully gave it some steering input. In some cars, you might actually, that might make you spin out and like do something really bad, but they just kind of composed a little S turn. That was remarkable, yeah. See, what? I stopped before I completed the turn. That was like, that was just over 50. Full braking, pretty hefty steering input. And that was all good. Yeah. I think that was the most impressive. That and then coming in full hard braking at 70 miles an hour and wiggling the steering wheel a bit, the fact that it just stayed composed, those two to yeah. me are the most impressive things I've experienced. We have an automatic emergency braking simulation that Ooh. we can run. How are we triggering that? Are you just saying? The on the laptop. computer? Okay. Yep. It's gonna Something break right by here. space bar effectively. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> Holy crap. That was yeah. over 1.3 Gs. That was the biggest peak we had. Yes. So I have Zach here from the Brembo team and he's gonna give us a great walkthrough of this mock-up of the Sensify system, talk about some of the tech, software, everything. So you can see here we have what looks to be a kind of a traditional master cylinder. It's a little different though, because under normal circumstances, this is actually in no way connected to the wheels. We call it a pedal simulator. It simulates the feel of a normal braking system, but really all it's doing is it's using a couple sensors to see how quickly are you pushing the pedal, how far are you pushing the pedal. From there, it sends signals out to the front ECU. Way down there, we also have a rear ECU. And those ECUs process that, it goes through kind of our software and it sends out electrical braking requests to the different actuators. So we move from the ECU then to our electrohydraulic actuator here. A motor pushing a piston in this uh, master cylinder that then forces pressure straight to the wheels and to traditional Brembo caliper. Okay. So you actually have a hydraulic set setup up here. Okay. But if you go to the rear, we actually have what's called an electromechanical and that's completely dry. There is no brake mm -hmm. fluid in, at all. There's some advantages to that. Some of them are, for instance, you get your parking brake integrated into your normal foundation brakes. Oh. The motor assembly on here, and that's actually turning a screw that's applying like brake force. Mm -hmm. Little motor up here actually uses what's kind of like a park paw for your parking brake. You, you park, mm -hmm. it applies the brake force, and then it pushes a little pin in okay. as your park paw, and that's how it holds the, uh, it holds the vehicle. So then we've got a rear and a front ECU, and there's a redundancy between the two of them, right? Exactly. You have redundancy on the sensors, you have redundancy on the calculations, you have redundancy on the system in general. Okay. What would you say is the biggest benefit of all of this? Having actuators on every single wheel yeah. is that we can control more finely okay. how much pressure is being put into each wheel, and we can control more quickly. So that just starts to open up all sorts of possibilities, and you know, as you experience on the track, we're, yeah. we're able to channel that into a much more comfortable experience. So that was just such a cool experience to go back to back between a completely stock Model 3, run all those different tests, and then go into one equipped with Sensify. And the difference was seriously staggering. The first time I hit the brakes, full just pedal all the way down. I honestly wasn't sure if I had held the pedal down hard enough because it was just drama free. There was nothing. It was transparent to me, but stopping distances stayed the same, but there was just none of the vibration, none of the noises. It just felt so stable and confidence inspiring. Then we went out and did even more things to try to trip it up. Turns on wet, full braking, and it was just easy. It felt uh, safe, simple, transparent. It was great. I also really like the ability to change the brake pedal feel. So Zach was changing it in the vehicle to go from comfort, which is a really gradual kind of soft brake feel to normal, which is more conventional, which is what we were doing for most of the time, to like the sporty version, which really felt more like a sports car, like my R8. As soon as you hit the pedal, the braking force was a lot more. So that's just really cool how they'll be able to adjust this depending on scenario, driver behavior, what the driver wants, type of vehicle, all sorts of different things. Really cool technology coming from Brembo with Sensify that really is gonna change how the braking systems work in all sorts of vehicles, from supercars to mass consumer vehicles to electric cars to commercial vehicles to maybe even race applications. This is really awesome. Special thanks to the Brembo team for inviting me out here at the Michelin Proving Grounds to experience this. It was really cool getting to talk to members of the engineering team to experience the vehicles and so forth. Make sure you check out Brembo to learn more about Sensify because apparently there will be uh, production applications coming sometime in 2024 is what we have been told. Thanks for watching.